what do you guys think of the Wonder Paint stuff? Because I had a pretty unpopular opinion on it, so I'm very curious what you guys thought about Wonder opening up Paint. So what he means on the pro view, this is like, so people can see, and, have, and he typed in like, you know, g2esports.com slash shop or whatever that fucking meme they're always no, no, spamming he, is. He drew on paint thing, what is going on? Like literally drew on paint with the mouth. And what was the context of this? Like it was- I think it, he was like on his island on Yorick and then right? just, the map was just- Yeah, Clown Fiesta step outside with Pike and <laughs> right. Jamie and people chasing them around. Yeah. What's the, I'm interested to hear your take, Loco, because- mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it might not be as weird of a take as you think. It's going to be some stupid shit, but let's, no, let's go. Uh, Come on, then. I think <laughs> I'll give you a chance, but I want to hear this. Come on. I love how free G2 is. I love how stylish they have been, and I love but, their whole bad where's boy the image. But, where's the butt? But here. I, I like their butts, and I cannot. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I do think it was a little bit over, like the line to open up paint. What line? The game. What line? Like line of, like yeah. I guess. Just... What, what line would that be? <laughs> It's um. Why do you put me on the spot like this? Why do you, why do you make it you harder on your co-hosts? Why do you make something. it? It yeah. was over the line in terms of like, um, what is it? Showing respect for your opponent and showing respect for your teammate and showing like respect for the game. I understand like they can do whatever the fuck they want and it's their freedom. And like they are by far the best team in Europe and by far the best team right. in the West still. But it it there is like a certain showboating aspect that crosses a line. In my opinion, like opening right, wait a hand. second. Let mm -hmm. me let me ask you this then. So, is it right? The part, the one part I am a bit confused about is I don't know why you threw in like respect for your opponent because the opponent can't see the MSP, right? Mm -hmm. It's only people on. And they'll know afterwards, right? right? They'll know afterwards. They might, they might do, but you know, it's not like during the game you distract them or something. They don't know mm -hmm. what you do, right? So, but anyway, put that to one side for a second. When you say like show respect for your teammates or the game itself. Like, that's why I'm puzzled why you'd be so sort of triggered by that. Because I have to say, mm -hmm. to me, it's not a big deal. Like, the fact that you're getting upset does sound like fucking English. We call it, like, pearl clutching. Yeah, stick up your ass, I understand. I understand it's not a popular opinion. Women would be like, oh, my gosh, how could they say something? That's what you, you're you doing right now. Because what I don't get is this mm -hmm. local, right? If it's BM to do that in MS Paint, then surely every single thing that people do in the game is BM. Like no, in the game there is like- character, no, no, Or, you know, dive, no. tower diving when you've got the game one. Surely that's BM by that logic, right? That is like within the context of the game and within context of like, here is like the- I, I know everyone has their own imaginary on what's okay, right? Everyone has their own right. imaginary box on what's okay. I think- So why me, does that fuck with it for you? What, for what me, you? for me, that's okay. For me, everything within that box is okay. Everything like, in the game, that's fine. Right? Yeah, everything yeah. within the game, that's fine. Even all chatting, I think is fine. But when you open up paint and like you're taking time out to like draw like what is going on, like for me, that crossed my imaginary. Why life. does it bother you though in that sense though? Like why, why is it specifically the fact that I, I'm not drawing? going to is sleep. I'm not going to sleep going like, oh my fucking God. No, but I, mean, I, don't even, yeah. I don't, I just don't even know why that's bothering you. Like that's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. Like what, what was you, it disrespectful about it? Do you think that the what is going on is disrespectful to like- Was it specific you know, He could have wrote, yeah. wrote g2esports.com shop. Or right. he could have wrote "Hi mom." He could have wrote. And is that just he, he could have he could have wrote "Loco Doco is the best," and I still would have been like a bit bothered by like him opening a paint. I mean, I would have asked for him to be banned for hate speech, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> like him opening him was intelligent, but yeah, yeah. I know exactly. <laughs> him opening up paint and like drawing like crossed the line for me, and he, I, I, I don't even think he should get punished. But for, oh my god, why do you make it like? I'm some kind of like, well, oh, I hate you, Duncan. I, I fucking hate you. It's so why you're asking me this. I defended you getting fucking fired over shit that was worse than that. I mean, this is like, okay, I mean, I've done bad behavior before and I don't think like- No, that I've defended a, it. So why are yeah. you asking me? I, if you haven't noticed, my general approach is, unless it really causes like legitimate yeah. harm, and this doesn't, it's like mildly mm -hmm. triggering maybe. I don't think it's that big a deal personally. Like, maybe I'm, I'm, the maybe I'm a special snowflake. snowflake. Maybe I'm a snowflake. No, but the part- Here's the part that did confuse me though. Yeah. I, I almost get the part where you say in the game, yeah. everything's fine. So I agree. That's the reason why, for example, I actually don't think it should be considered like any kind of punishable offense by Riot or the teams to like stop people from tower diving or ta or doing dances. So I think that's absolutely fine because yeah, in the game it's building. Fine. But what, 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 what weirds me out, I guess, is why did you draw the line so that it doesn't include all chat? That's the part I don't get. Surely all chat's the same as doing the MS paint, kind of. I mean, mm. you are talking to the person in a way that's, 
Is that really part of the game? Yeah, that's part of the game. That's part of like built into the system. That's part of like what is possible, like all chat. And there are ways, if you, if it really does bother one you, question. you can mute them too. What, one question then. Okay. So would it have been fine for him to have just typed in all chat what is going on? For me, it would have bothered me less for sure. And I would have been, I probably would have been okay with it. Like, long right, as well, I'm glad we just spent 20 minutes absolutely narrowing down the incredibly fine line of what makes you mildly uncomfortable enough to bring it up and pull clutch. But then at the same time, when I tried to push for any sort of real meaning, you were just like, I'm not fucking, you know, go staying up all night being bothered about it. Anyway, let's talk more. Let's talk more. Is it outside the lines? Inside the lines? Between the lines? What are lines? Lines? Quadrat? <laughs> like, whatever. What do you think, Fox? I, I imagine, like me, you probably just looked at it and thought, huh, and then moved on with your life, right? I, I think I think it's funny. Um, it doesn't bother me that he opened up a, an external program or anything like that. I think I think it's funny. I actually, perhaps a bit ironically here, I think all chatting to VM. I think that's equally bad, surely. No, I no. think yeah. I would. I think that's like so. Uh, yeah. I think if you. I think this was on Proview. I'm assuming it was. Um, but you know when uh, Attila and Jack troll got a one v two v two. I guess at level one by uh, yes. Sona Tarek. Um, which is like probably the worst play that we've seen. Oh, of course, in that'd NBC. be totally worthy as fuck. Um, yeah, uh, Vander and Allchat typed a question mark <laughs> as it happened like, when he died. Yeah, Just like classic, question mark them. Classic needle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. By the way, like, that can actually be a better needle than if you'd even said anything because the question mark is just even more triggering. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Question mark. Like, that'll get to you even more. I love that. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is definitely something that gets on the skin. And I look at that and I'm like, if I was on the receiving end, like, you know, you fucked up, right? You, oh, you of course, know you fucked up. And then you just type that. It's like it's so rude, but. At the same, I I kind of recognise that that's probably me with like a stick up my ass if I think that's too far. I think it's BM for sure, but I don't know whether I like take exception to it. I think um, regarding Wonders thing though, like Riot celebrated it by putting it on like uh, Twitter and stuff like that, and, and like they definitely didn't hide that it had happened. But I think that they got a warning for doing it as well. Oh, from okay. what I heard, that they're not allowed to do it because it's a third program. Mm -hmm. And it's like uh, almost a case where Riot doesn't have a problem with that. But if, say... Well, at that point, money, like, where does the line go? Like, are they allowed right. to open you know, like VLC players and start playing a cartoon? You know, presumably not. <laughs> yeah. So I see what you mean. There, there is probably some line on like what you can do with third-party programs. I'd agree with that, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's like... I don't think you'll be seeing it too much, Loco, so you can sleep easy. Mm -hmm. You don't have to watch LEC, like, war worrying whether oh. it's going to keep I'm you not, up. I'm not, oh, oh my god, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, I was just bothered about it, I wanted to talk about it, and you walking, oh my god, you made Here's me, the thing, here's my take on all that. Like, I'm triggered now, yeah, I'm yeah. actually triggered now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, first of all, it's not even like, in, like in this particular case, I actually think as a topic, it's worth bringing up because obviously if you allow that to happen, there's a world in which someone eventually would go the next step and what they wrote in MSP wouldn't just be a fun comment like that. It would be something like, lol, look at these shitters or something. Like someone eventually would go <laughs> over the line and like essentially yeah. get into potential trouble or whatever. I don't think this was it. I think this is probably a fairly harmless one. But in terms, I'm, I'm just amazed that local for some reason like draws the line to include I, I, I guess I kind of get it and I don't. Like, on the one level, I don't really see how that's that much different to doing the all chat one. To me, they're like similar. There's just DM. like within rules of the game. That's for me. Like, within the rules okay. of the game. That's like, but I will say this. I actually personally hate the fact that they ever disallowed all chat or didn't want people to type in it. I personally thought from day one, the rule in LCS should have been always the spectator client is set up so that there is no all chat. You never get to know that they're typing anything to each other whatsoever, but all chat should have been allowed and it should absolutely be allowed to talk shit. Now, I would obviously put limits like probably don't go and like maybe don't even swear, don't even risk saying other things in non-English languages in case you're saying something that's horrific, you know. I would say maybe put that in, although it wouldn't be on stream, just so just for the sake of your competitors. But I personally think you should actually, this is going to be an unusual opinion in league. I think you actually should be allowed to talk shit like directly in all chat because personally i consider it part of competition in the same way as if you're playing football absolutely you can whisper in the ear of the your de the defender who just defended you like just fucking skinned you and wrecked you didn't that absolutely that's psychological warfare it's another component of being a pro now you don't have to do that most people won't probably most people will just like they do in real matches if you ever see in the nba half the time if they ever mic them up it's really just like two guys at free throw line going like how's the season going for you anyway it's just minor stuff isn't it so mm -hmm. most of the time it'll never be a problem but i actually do think if people want to do some trash talk i think it's fine like that thing that he said vander did that i think it's fucking hilarious 
<laughs> well, have you, I, I know I use I, I use these comparisons a lot because I'm a hockey fan, but <clears throat> hockey hockey players are like the biggest trash talkers on the ice. Uh, they say some proper nasty stuff to each other at times. Even some of it's some of it's funny. Like one guy called someone else. He says uh, like, "Hey, hey, dickhead, you look like a pigeon." It's like cooing at him, and that's just just I don't know. You're just trying to get under the skin, right? That's the whole point of like. I'll tell you one of the best like, ones like ever. Game. Fox up. One of the best trash talks ever, right, is the player Kevin Garnett. I think this was actually when he was playing for... I'm trying to think what team he played for right at the end. He, really, he played for a different team than the Celtics, I think, when he did this. But anyway, when he was playing a game against the New York Knicks, he whispered in the ear of Carmelo Anthony and told him that his wife tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh. Now, that is fucking God-tier trash talk. Because <laughs> the idea there, right, is supposed to be... Kevin Garnett, presumably, if you look at his career, can handle trash talk. He doesn't get, like, you know, bent out of shape by it. He's going to perform the same way anyway. But the concept there, and it worked, is if the other guy, in this particular case, Carmel Anthony, would go mental from that, then you get to win this game, perhaps. You know, maybe that pushes him off his game or makes him go harder at you and therefore, you know, overreaches. You know, all sorts of things can go. So I think that should be a component within it. Most people would never actually, like, execute that option anyway. So it's not like it's going to happen all the time. And I definitely would understand, by the way, why you wouldn't allow it if it was going to be on stream. I would, that's why I yeah. said I would just make the client not show it. But I do think it should be part of the game because at the end of the day, like these aren't 12-year-old kids playing. This is actually a man's game. This is a profession. This is something where you're supposed to be the best in the world. If you want to trash talk, I think that's fine personally. See, I would actually disagree with that. Yeah, because you'd get triggered by my trash talk. I'd be loving it. I'd no. be spewing dog shit everywhere. No, you'd be no, going, just, no, the fuck's no, no. that question mark? I'd be like, listen, motherfucker, I'm going to have like a hashtag coming in soon. <laughs> Hashtag, hashtag Fox, da- Fox dropped. That's about to be me when I fucking killed you, level one. There we go. But that's just like me and Solid Q anyway. People were chatting shit anyway, whatever. Oh, chat. God. I bet as a caster, you get it non stop now, mate, yeah, on your main account. Legit. I bet it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's terrible. <laughs> it's, I, I, I disagree just to the concept of these like grown ups playing a grown up okay. game because I just think like these are. So a lot of pro players are really socially awkward because in order to get good at video games, you have to play a lot of video games, and that tends to coincide with of not socializing. Yeah. So, so uh, and ex pros are the worst. Um, so, <laughs> no, just kidding, mate. I love you. So, like, they're not great social skills. They have mega inflated egos because suddenly they're being paid like six figures, and they're like celebrity states and all that stuff. Plus, they are very young, right? They're mm-hmm. like genuinely teenagers, some of them. There's a player, uh, Inspired, who's playing for Rogue right now in the LEC. He's born in 2002. He's 17. Like, Whoa! These are, There's people kids. born in 2002? Holy shit, competing yeah, in LEC. I, right? I know, I know. It's crazy. So, so for me... He only knows about two Spider-Men. I'm going to fight a joke if knows about that franchise. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> thanks, thanks, sorry, mate. Always fleshing it out with quality, quality additions. I think um, these people aren't great at understanding trash talk without it just turning into like actual anger did you sure. remember when there was a pause uh between it was again moscow five and there was, it was an na team i can't remember who it was exactly there was a pause and one of the na players said something in all chat it wasn't like hostile it was like i think this actually uh, might have been tsm because famously like they it was an online qualifier and i've famously yeah, moscow five had was... to apologize afterwards for like saying yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. they were like yeah might have actually know, been the american, TSM. the american team was like Damn, this is this pause is taking a while, something like that. Or nice day say genuinely something complete And they were like, like shut up, like, shut, word. Yeah. <laughs> if something like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> you know, I'm I'm not I'm not sh- I'm not sure how well that would go down. And I've heard there are some kind of like tentative player relations anyway between teams and between well, between players. So I, I think it has the uh it has a risk of just actually not being trash talk and these people not really understanding it and being able to kind of like do it in a i i, I would agree sure. with your conclusion that in a mature it has set okay. a place in a mature setting but i don't think professional esports is a mature setting so i i don't think it's a i don't think it's a mature setting but the more we baby people the more it's going to be immature and the more people are going to be protected like if you want your kid and if you want people to be more immune to trash talk and more immune to like kind of difficulties you don't protect them like you give them the tools to protect themselves and give them the tools to be like mentally solid instead of being like no trash talk that's why i'm okay with all chat like and generally like people like being under stress people like 
answering questions from interviewers like people being confrontational and like actually talking about problems like i think if you coddle players too much then it becomes even worse so i'm actually all i'm actually for all chat i know it's really weird i'm not for opening up paint and i am for all chat it's just for me it's just within the context of the game do whatever the fuck you want Plus, I always did think, by the way, just as a quick aside, we'll move on from this to talk about like European League of Legends or some bullshit in a minute, but just to close up this topic, I'll also say another reason I wish Trash Talk existed is because, and Loco, you can confirm this, mm -hmm. I know for a fact that is actually one of the only ways Westerners might have been able to fuck with the best Korean players. <laughs> if someone, because because Korea is so much about honor and your public face and how people treat you with respect, etc., you could trigger some of those Korean players, I'm telling you, if you'd banter them in all chat. Like, mm -hmm. if you just type some shit in, you know, like in season five or whatever, like Faker dies, you just put something like, Maybe Pooh Mandu wasn't the biggest problem in SKT. Just put some shit like that in like all chat in the middle of a game. He's got to at least now think about that. He's come from a world where people respect you, you know, people just professionally. And now someone's just talking buku mad shit up in his two time, at that point in time, two time season winning grill. I'd love that. Mm. <laughs> or I'd just say something like, I'd even go the childish route. Are you ready, Foxtrot? Because obviously the key thing here is it's hard to bring up trash talk to Faker, isn't it? So I'd just go with some like mega childish one, like from the UK community of esports, where you just go like, like say he kills you, you just go fucking try hard. When have you ever been outside, you little shit? You know, like <laughs> I'd go with like that lame angle, which doesn't even work, obviously, because you are both trying to be good in the video game. But the UK, that's always been our like go to in the UK. You just go with the angle of like, all right, you win video games but whatever you probably never even yeah. fucking get any pussy anyway you little bitch yeah. everyone, everyone <laughs> that's better than just... me is a tryhard yes, everyone that's worse than me is a noob of course but the problem is though no one's ever said that to fake it so I just want to see how he'd respond basically <laughs> It's the way that it would really be my child. That really would be my childish use. Like if I could go back in time or go to some point and play like one pro game, I wouldn't even be trying to like win the game, Fox. I'd just be talking about shit. Everyone would like. Oh my god! <laughs> but I would enjoy it. That's the key. Thing. <laughs>